Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. This is Real Magic Review, and this week I am going to be reviewing Gerard Kearney and Secret Tannery's Peak Note Wallet. But first, you have to watch this. If you're like me and you're constantly trying to up your game with a deck of cards, you want to be an expert, you don't just want to know a couple of tricks, you want to be really knowledgeable, then go and check out cardmagiccourse.com. It's my online resource. It is everything I know with a deck of cards. Uh, there's 180 plus videos on there and it's just had an overhaul. There's moves, theory, help with performance, and you can always email if there's something on there that you don't, uh, that you can't see, and I'll do what I can to create more content for you. So it's a really bespoke learning experience. Uh, so if you go through that from beginning to end, if you're a serious beginner or you're already established, you're going to know so much more than most people with a deck of cards. Uh, so cardmagiccourse.com and there are a few free previews on there. If you go on to Card Controls Volume 2, you'll get a free preview of the spread curl. Uh, and one more thing, very important, please like and subscribe down there. Hit the bell so you'll get notifications and don't forget to look in the comments bit at the end. There'll be all the links and the info you need on the product and of course the card course. Here's the review. So I'm thinking when I was reviewing this, it's going to be a bit similar because I did a review of the Rebel Wallet, okay, but and, and the good things are similar to that, but it's a peak wallet. Now I'm not a big peaker. Is that right? <laughs> that sounds right. Um, but I, I'm not a, well, I am, well I am. See I used to do a centre tear and I sort of started getting quite nervous about the centre tear and then I started doing it again the other day uh, as a response to this really to kind of lead up to it and get me back into that idea of doing it and forgot how strong it is. Man it is so strong. So so the first of all the effect is if you don't know and you're new to this uh, peak quality is the way of gaining information. So somebody writes something on a business card um, you pop it in the wallet, put it in your pocket, and you can you can say what they've written, hopefully with a bit more performance than that, and probably hopefully with a bit more performance than I actually do in the clip. Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. So that's the effect. There are loads of peak wallets around, and there are loads of great peak wallets around. So why is this one so good? And again, we're look, going back to Gerard Kearney just kind of knows what people want and what looks stylish and cool, and that's part of it, all right? So we're we'll go into that in a minute but first of all i'll take you through what it looks like okay it it is just it looks very similar to the rebel wallet and importantly it looks very similar to a wallet that you might actually have on you so um so there it is it's it's a three part folding wallet one of those sort of roll up wallets like that um it, you can put notes in it. this is important it's a note wallet. what it's called the, the note wallet you can put normal notes in it as well and the rebel the early rebel wallet didn't have a note section and people don't like, oh, want to put my notes in it you can put your notes in the latest uh, rebel wallets i believe and you can put your notes in this so it is your wallet this can be your wallet that you take uh, around with you um it's beautifully made again it's got this kind of this this blue stitching around it it's clearly a really nice wallet it's not one that's been adapted by sort of someone who went on holiday in IB for and bought it for two quid um, this is a, a very nice one I'm very aware that I'm kind of looking at it and you will not see what I'm looking at but if I look at it up here it's gonna look odd um, but just I just wanted to make sure you get a good look at that I've been using this for like a week now I'm gonna explain this in a way that I just performed it so I just taken this out for the first time actually I did it in a in a book in the other day um, I went out and I did the centre tear to get me thought because I kind of knew that and then I did the, the did it with a wallet and I did a different effect with the wallet. So I did a drawing duplication. Now, I was quite nervous about it because I've seen a lot of wallets and I've gone, oh, man, if I get that out, for, they're gonna be drawn to it. They're gonna be like, whoa, you know, all right, granddad. You know, it's, it's, it's gonna be weird. Now, I, I think that's fine on stage. I think it's fine also in close up really. When you're suited up and you're at a thing and it's a kind of formal occasion, uh, with a card to wallet, that's fine. But with a card to wallet, you're you're drawing the attention to the wallet purposefully. All right, you're going look. I've got this thing. Or you might just take it out and then go look in the wallet. Or however you want to do it. But but you're making that part of the effect. Now that could sound like it's a weakness, but it kind of works. If you're on stage, you get a wallet out. It's big enough. You go look, and nobody nobody has really questioned that. Internally, if I get a, a wallet into play, but I don't really want it to be noticed. I want it to be a kind of really incidental thing and I want them to, to kind of forget the existence of it at some point then that's a very different thing and if you get out something that is you know a, a massive big flap of leather then then it's just it doesn't play in certain situations so I just went into a cafe 
um, where I go to my local cafe and performed it there and it, it just flew. And the important thing was that I did it really badly. <laughs> I've done it twice today, both, shockingly. But, uh, and it's not, because, A, I tried to take a couple of guesses on the, uh, you know, on the name and who it might be and the kind of age and stuff like that, which I was completely wrong with. First of all, are they around about your age? Younger, a lot younger. So it's a member of your family. Is it like a, a, a it's not like a niece, is it? Or, or a friend's kid? Or something like that? No, what's, what's, what's the relationship? Cousin. Cousin, okay, it's so a cousin. Um, but on the second one, you'll see that what I do is I, I don't get the, the read. So I'm not going to go into the details here, but then I have to go through this delayed thing where I get an excuse to take another business card out and to write on it. And that allows me time to do the thing. I'm going to try, I'm going to try and write it down, right? And at the end, when I'd written it, I was convinced they were going to go, yeah, right, of course, because you just did that. But they were just like, what and and these are people that have seen a lot of tricks because I show them quite a lot. They don't know magic that the background of it. They don't watch this, but they, but they know they see me try out tricks with them. So, but there was no and and Martin was coming up to me. The guy now afterwards going, I don't. That was just amazing. That was mind blowing. Was the word he used. So so you've got this thing that I just did quite badly and still got the mind blowing, kind of testimonial there. Now that's a bit of a, a drawn out story, but the point of it is why this wallet is so good, that the wallet wasn't spoken about at any point. When they were saying, but you, I told you a name, you wrote it down on one of your business cards. Nobody said, I told you a name, uh, told, uh, thought of a name, wrote it down, you put it in your wallet and put it away. And it didn't even come into the conversation after that. And there was conversation after that. So there you go. That's what we want. And I'm not saying you won't get that with another peak wallet, but if you ever want to do this and that to being your wallet and something that you can know you can take out to the pub or when you've got it and you can do that straight away and prompt you if someone says, oh, show me something, so I'll show this. You, that opens up a whole new thing for me. We've really got the style part of it, the fact it looks like a normal wallet, the fact it's really well made and the Peak is a really naturally, and it's got a real natural feel to it, this Peak, all right? There's nothing, now when I do a center tear, that feels kind of unnatural and don't get me wrong, it's still Brilliant. Those people that say, well, why would you tear the paper up? It flies. Don't worry about it. Uh, and the same with this. But it, your hands are always doing something very natural with this. And you can't really go wrong. There are two peaks uh, Gerard talks about on the, the video. One of them is one you get straight. One, one, one of them is a delayed peak. And I had to do, the, do both of them, really, in the last bit because I couldn't get the read for, for a reason that the, I didn't basically put the business card in properly. So I had to interfere and fertile with the thing quite a lot. Um, and that gave me time to do that delay P, but, it, but it's all in context. It's all like I'm getting a business card out of a place they've just seen. It looks exactly the same, which is another thing. And again, I'm not going to go into method about this, but, but everything about it feels natural. It looks natural. The peak feels natural. It feels easy. Like I said, I'm not used to using peak wallets. I've, I've had a look at a few recently and talked to people about a lot of peak wallets in preparation for this review and it was summed up really really nicely by my friend Noel Quarter that says the best peak wallet is the one you can do without guilt and that is it there was nothing that felt unnatural in any of those scenarios about doing that trick uh, and that's it bad point good point so like I said style and the fact it's brilliant and uh, really well made gonna last you forever all that bad points of it are nothing really you know it's I can't I know I'm gonna be sort of you know two-sided about this and quite a lot, but no, I mean, might be, don't like doing peaks, you know, <laughs> don't, don't buy the peak wallet, uh, but brilliant, and I think worth it, I think this is, you know, the fact that somebody that sees lots of magic can go, that was mind-blowing, and there's your testimonial, there's your review, uh, so I'll put the link below uh, for, for this peak wallet of Gerard, um, please do like and subscribe, and check out the Carb Magic course. That would be lovely. Thank you again for Vanishing Ink. They share this and they're really cool because they're letting me review stuff that isn't Vanishing Ink stuff. So that's, how cool is that? Um, and they're sharing this on their blog. So do check out the blog and check out all the stuff they've got in there because the stuff that's on there is great. Harapan stuff, all that. Uh, so I really, really appreciate it. Uh, have a great one. Thanks very much. Please comment, all that stuff. And have a lovely, lovely day.